I've decided I'm going to let AI choose what I read for a week. <laughs> I'm sure everyone got the update, but Snapchat now has an AI. But instead of asking them to pick like a random book, I'm going to actually send them pictures and let them choose from the pictures. So I'm almost done with the first book of the Twisted series, but I want to see what I'm going to read next. So I know I'm going to go with Twisted Games, which is book two of the Twisted series. I heard that this book is better than the first book, so I'd actually be really down to read this. And then I think I'm going to go with just the fine print because I haven't started this series yet and I do want to give it a try i heard great things about it and i don't know what the other book option should be i could go with defy me because this is the next book in the shatter me series that i need to read i'm loving the series i'm just not necessarily in the mood to continue reading shatter me yet but we could just hope that my ai doesn't choose this one these are all books that i'm either in a series reading or that i want to start so i'm playing it safe <laughs> we're just starting off slow we're dipping our toes into the ai world also i want to clarify i am not for AI ruling the world and robots taking over. I just thought this would be fun. <laughs> okay, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> what should I say? I don't know. How do I approach a robot? Hi, I need you to do me a favor. Of course, what do you need? Great! Okay, I think I'm just gonna send a photo of the books. Which book should I read? That looks like a great reading list. Which book should I read? What are you in the mood for? I'm going to let you choose. No! No, wait! From, from the list of books that I showed you. Ugh! This is not going as planned. Hold on. It's because they opened it too fast. They have to actually read what I'm saying. Looks like you're ready to dive into some great book. So this is not gonna work. I'm gonna have to write out the titles of each. Why are they being difficult? I haven't read any of these books, but I heard great things about Defy Me by Tara Mack. <laughs> no! I mean, yes, okay, that's fine. Oh, we're off to a great start. I should have never doubted my AI. <laughs> Like, they really told me they heard great things from this book, and now I see why. And the thing is, I knew it was gonna be good. I wasn't worried about that. I just wasn't in the mood to read it, or so I thought. I literally was binge reading it last night. There are so many twists and turns in this book, and the whole series, to be honest. Now I have like full faith in my AI. I'm excited for my next reads. So far in this book, it's, it's a lot of like, figuring out the truth. It's not really action-packed yet. We're gonna get there though, I'm pretty sure. Like I am so excited to just finish this book. It's so fast-paced and you just want to keep reading because like every chapter just leaves on like a little cliffhanger, a little hint for what's to come. is so good and it just keeps like getting better and like it's wild what's going on because i can't even explain it because this is literally like the fifth book in the series so it's like whatever i say is gonna be a spoiler if you don't know what the shadow me series is about which you probably do already this girl has this superpower where she can literally kill somebody by touching them when i tell you there are so many like plot twists when you think you've had enough you haven't Tamahara Mafi always finds a way to shock you and she does it pretty well and pretty often. I'm gonna be so honest, if my AI didn't decide to choose this book, I don't know when I would have gotten back to it. So I am very thankful that I am reading this book right now. gosh literally i'm telling you back to back to back there's just plot twist plot twist plot twist like wow <sighs> wow that was a good book and it was so, so cute. Like the romance in this series is like 
it's like my favorite i i love it so so much and it just hits harder because like i said this is the fifth book so we followed this couple since the beginning and it's like they've just grown so much and oh the love is definitely there what am i gonna read next okay so i think i've chosen the three books that i want to ask my ai to choose from we got we got a different variety going on here so i'm going to include the last book of the shadow me series imagine me i have mixed emotions i want to continue reading because that book got me hooked obviously then there's also the fact that i am not ready to finish the series yet and i know i'm not and if i read this and this world is over and then I picked a romance, but the only romance that I would be in the mood to read is The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. And then I decided to just go random here and choose The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. And this is like a mystery thriller book, so definitely a change of pace. Let's text my AI. <laughs> Which book from these three should I read? I think they'll get the point. All three look like great options. Maybe you could flip a coin to decide. No, you pick. I think you should read The Nightingale. That wasn't my option. Uh, AI, I thought you were smarter than this. You literally have intelligence in your name. Uh. Oh! I'll just write it out real quick. I am so nervous. I don't wanna look. You pick. What is happening? What is happening? Pick my next read. I don't want to flip a coin. I suggest read Imagine Me by Tyra Buffy. It's the only romantic conclusion to show me series. Ah, okay. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I don't know, guys. I am so scared to finish Sadder Me. I don't. Uh, I'm not ready for it to end. If my AI said I have to, then it's time. <laughs> okay, so I started Imagine Me, and when I tell you, this book literally like picks up as soon as it starts. Like, we get thrown into the action right away, and it's so intense. It, like I couldn't believe what was going on the way the action and the scenery is described It's so like visual like I see it like I see it as I'm reading it And if I'm being honest, I didn't think that this book would take this turn It's going in a direction that I definitely should have saw coming But I didn't I am just so invested in this world and I just can't Oh, I just don't want it to end. I feel like I'm kind of reading slow. I'm like taking my time with it. I really want to grasp everything of what's left of the series. Something I'm really enjoying about this book is that it is so like action packed. And although like every book in the series has action, obviously it's like a fantasy series. I feel like this one just has more action than the others because the others I feel like it just has like build up and then action. But this one, it started right, right away. Like every page is like a whole like twist, a whole turn. It's like a, like, <laughs> I'm so interested to see how this book ends because it can either be really good or it could be... I... Honestly, it can only be really good. Let's be honest. It's Tahir Mafi. I am so close to being done and I'm actually scared. So, um... This book... It's so, it's, I can't even put it to words. Like I'm speechless and I'm sad that I'm at the end now. I'm, I'm scared. I need a few minutes to regroup so this was a good book i cannot lie to you it was an amazing series let's start there i will say i wish that this book had more to the ending but with that being said i'm not mad at how it ended i thought it ended great especially literally the last paragraph oh oh my gosh the flashbacks in this book i will say extremely vivid like every sentence was perfectly articulate to have an image be drawn in my mind like this wasn't even reading i was watching a movie it was so 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 good and i 
I'm sad it's over. But it hasn't hit me yet. And I think it's because I still didn't read the novellas. And in a way, I'm kind of thankful I haven't read them yet because I'm able to just revisit the other books and kind of just reminisce on the good old days. <laughs> Thank you to my AI for letting me read this book because... I don't think I would have been able to make myself read this. I just didn't want the series to end. But let's hope that our next read is going to be just as good. I have The Summer of Broken Rules by K.L. Walther. I keep seeing this in like summer recommendation videos and I also want to start getting into my summer reads. So I think this will be a good start to it. I'm also going to add in here again Twisted Games because I saw a TikTok on it again saying how good it was. And then last but not least, this has been on my TBR literally probably since the beginning of the year and it is the seven husbands of evelyn hugo i low-key want my ai to choose this one because i feel like i'm not going to pick it up on my own i need to be forced let's ask my ai i'm not even going to try with the photos because that does not work so i'm just gonna text them send i think you should read the seven husbands of evelyn hugo all right bet see my ai Wait. Are they listening to me? No, because they literally picked Imagine Me. I am not ready to finish the series yet and Defy Me. But we could just hope that my AI doesn't choose this one. Both books that like I talked about before I let AI stop just stop you playing with me i'm finally getting into taylor jenkins read how exciting okay so i finally understand the concept of this book <laughs> basically there's this reporter and evelyn hugo is like this really really famous celebrity but she's older now and she's ready to basically tell all something i noticed about taylor jenkins read writing is that she kind of like goes really in detail with how the characters looks which is kind of different because i feel like a lot of authors don't really go in detail and kind of leave it up to the imagination so that's kind of cool i kind of have a clear picture of what evelyn hugo looks like now i'm at the point where it's gonna like start picking up now because she's gonna go into i guess describing the relationship with each husband can hurt me. So something in the book was just uncovered that I wasn't expecting but I probably should have seen coming. Like now I'm interested to see like what's going to happen and like what direction the book will go in. So I'm hoping now is when I could feel like hooked for the book because honestly reading this, I don't know what it is about it. Maybe it's just the fact that it feels like too realistic. With that being said, check trigger warnings for this book because I kind of went into it blind and so I'm like surprised at a lot of things that pop up but i do like how it's written it's like past and present perspective and it kind of just takes us back in time but we're on chapter 20 and we're still on our second husband so i'm like how do we have time for all seven outside now and I'm sad but those things are pretty unrelated going into this I did not realize it was gonna be sad it's just there's just a lot of hurt and I was not prepared for that and I think it hurts more because it's so realistic like I could totally see the stuff happening especially in the past like I already teared up like a couple times reading this and I'm only like halfway through now and that's another thing cuz how are we only halfway through when I feel like I already know her whole life. I already made up my mind that there's not gonna be a happy ending. I mean, I hope that there's a happy ending, but I just don't see it happening. I'm gonna keep reading and just hope that more bad things don't happen. <laughs> Later. It's over. I can't believe it! <laughs> I need to compose myself. 
Okay, first I would like to say that this book took me on the craziest ride. I can't remember the last book that I read that took me on this much of a like emotional roller coaster. There were some parts where I was a bit uncomfortable. I think that just adds to how like realistic this book was. Does it count as like historical fiction? So a lot of the events and even people mentioned in here are well known. I also wonder if Taylor Jenkins Reid took inspiration from Marilyn Monroe because I feel like reading like the first like quarter of the book, I was like, she's literally talking about Marilyn Monroe, but I don't know much about her. This gives me Marilyn Monroe vibes. I'm happy my AI chose it because I don't think I would have picked it up by myself. I could finally cross this off my TBR. It's been on there way too long. I did it guys. I read all the books that my AI has told me to read. AI knew exactly what they were doing because these reads were just so, so good. I am so pleased with the books that I read in this video. I can't complain. If you guys are interested to see what I rated these books, just stick around and wait for my June wrap up towards the end of the month. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you wanna see more of my book videos, I have a whole book playlist that you can watch. I made it really easy for you guys. So just go ahead and check that out. But yeah, I think that's it. Okay, bye. Okay, hug me. I'm gonna- <laughs> That scared me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, yari, yari, yari.